and a Zertastic and in this video art lesson tutorial we're going to be making a lovely snowman artwork uh, just using some watercolor paints and something to draw with so either a permanent marker a wax crayon um, a black uh, colored pencil or pencil colored pencil or pencil crayon depending on what you call it um, or permanent marker if you are wanting to use that and just some watercolor paint and join me as we explore creating a lovely snowman artwork so let's make some art So we're going to be creating a lovely snowman artwork and we're going to be using something that resists water and some watercolor paint or temper pancakes and it's up to you on which one you want to use. Um, but for drawing, you can choose to use a permanent marker, you could choose to use wax crayon, you could choose to use your oil pastels, or you can even choose to use a pencil crayon. The only thing that you should not use is water-based or washable felt markers. So any of these we're not going to use because they're washable, which means that when we paint water on top, they'll wash away. So we don't really want to use that one. So something that's not going to disappear when we add water. All right, here we go. So we're going to begin by drawing the snowman's hat and we're going to begin with a dot at the top. Next, we're going to draw an oval around the dot. So we want to have the top of the oval close to that dot, but the bottom's going to be a little bit farther away. So we're going to go out, around, up, and connect. From there, we're going to draw two curving lines down, and then draw a curving line at the bottom. And then that way this curving line is going to match this curving line and that's going to create this illusion of form on our snowman. And then you can draw the brim of the hat so you can draw a nice little curving oval or if you want it, mine has a little bit of a shape to it like it's bowling out. You can add whatever you want. And I also like to give my snowman's top hat a lovely ribbon on it. Just like that. Perfect. All right, next we're gonna draw a snowman. So we're gonna draw our snowman head first. And we don't want it to be a perfect circle. When we make snowballs, sometimes they're all kinds of different shapes, right? And when we press them together to make a snowman, we layer them on top of each other, right? They kind of get compressed and then the sun happens and they melt a little bit. So we don't have perfect snowballs. So head first, don't make it perfect. Two curving lines down. And then we're gonna draw a curving rectangle on one side for the knot of a scarf. Curving line to connect. And we'll have most of our scarf done there. And then all you gotta do is draw two rectangles down and your snowman has a lovely scarf around its neck. Ready for the winter days. All right, we're gonna give our snowman some arms, and of course those are branches. So we're gonna draw two curving lines because the branches are round and they're stuck into the snow. From there, we're gonna draw two lines out. They don't have to be perfect because what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn them into, well, of course, branches. Here we go. And we want to make them different because no branches are the same. This one's going to have a little wilted leaf that never made it off. <laughs> Just stuck on there. <laughs> oh, there's always that one leaf that doesn't fall off. And that is that one. All right, we're going to add the midsection of that snowman. And of course, we don't want it to be perfect. So make sure you add some waves on there where the snowman has been imperfectly made. And finally, we're gonna draw two curved, lines, two curved lines down, but we're not going to connect them at the bottom because we're gonna draw one big curving line around the front there 
And that's going to be the lovely snow drift that that snowman is chilling in. All right. Add some coal or buttons, rocks, whatever you use to make buttons on a snowman. Add those on there. And of course, a lovely rocky, coaly snowman smile. Some of those playground pebbles, of course. Okay, give it a carrot with a curved end because carrots are round, not flat. And carrots have texture, so you can add that too. And finally, our snowman needs some eyes. Now, my eyes are gonna look cute because I'm after a cute looking snowman, but you can use whatever you want to make your snowman have some character. All right, here we go. We're gonna paint this lovely snowman. Dip that brush in water and we're gonna go for a blue and we're gonna shade first. So we go down one side of our snowman with the blue. So down the side along the bottom. And we're gonna do that on every single one of these layers of snowballs. Because snow kinda looks bluey when it has a shadow. Because it's white. Here we go. And we're gonna add in the snow, our snowman's shadow kind of peeking out there. Next, we're going to paint our snowman. We're gonna start off at the top. I'm gonna paint my snowman's hat. scarf and that ribbon on the hat. I'm going to make my match. Got to give the carrot a little bit of paint as well. The branches need a little bit of love. Give them some color. Now, I didn't even realize I got a drip of paint on that background. But you know, sometimes things like that, those little happy accidents, they give us ideas. Now I have an idea brewing for what I'm gonna do in the background. But before I do that, gotta give this little leaf a little dried up love. Here we go. And now, let's make this background happen. So I'm gonna get some watery blue and purple I'm just going to take my my finger, hold my brush, and I'm going to tap on my brush. I'm not throwing it because we don't want to throw paint across the classroom or at our home table, wherever we might be making art. We don't want to do that. So I'm just going to tap. And the closer we are to the paper, the less it'll go everywhere. From up here, it's going to go all over, see? But down here, smaller, smaller area. So we're gonna use that to add some texture. And then I'm just gonna take my brush and add a few swirls here and there. a winter blizzard. I got the blue mixing with the purple and that just makes it look beautiful, like wind. And I'll add a few bigger dots, like that big drip. Perfect. And once you're done, your lovely snowman artwork is done. Hi there, thank you so much for watching the art lesson. Now let's dive into some more ways that you can explore Ms. Artastic art lessons.
So this is another way you can explore Artastic lessons. So one, make sure that you go and find me on Instagram and TikTok. I am artastic.kids and please follow me, check it out. You'll find lots of different ways to grab art lessons and you'll also find out when new art lessons are dropped to YouTube and other places such as the blog. Next, you can go to the Ms. Artastic YouTube channel. Make sure that you become a subscriber because my friend, this is where I post a ton of weekly art drawing tutorials or art lessons for you to explore for free at home or in a classroom. And finally, make sure you go to artastickids.com. This is an essential place to go if you are someone if you're a kid looking to create art or if you're a homeschool parent or if you're just a parent or guardian looking to find art lessons for your kids to allow them to become creative, to prevent the whole let's get started um, at the kitchen table and they are not really wanting to create with their parent, don't worry because I will guide them through the art lessons and I will prevent them from getting stuck at the blank page. I know that is a huge struggle. So check it out, artastickids.com. There you'll find a blog full of free different art lessons, art lesson activity ideas, seasonal art ideas, and so much more, as well as my membership, which is my collection of art lessons online. It is an online streaming art lesson platform for families, homeschool, or classrooms, and you will be able to allow your child to um, stimulate their creative thinking and critical thinking skills, build on their motor skills, as well as they get to enjoy five new art lessons added every single month to the membership every single month. It is a growing art resource library. So you'll get hundreds of art lessons and then every single month, five new ones are added. And it, there are lots of sneak peek preview videos. So make sure you go to artastickids.com, hit the get started button, and I will see you in the membership enjoying new art lessons added every single month.